Welcome to Spiritually Initiated, an extension of Verse to Verse Breakthrough Entertainment, a place where you can come to for spiritual guidance, upliftment, information, and education. Hmm. Today, I'm going to do a part two to the Club Onyx case reading. So, I'm just shuffling up this deck real good. All right, you all. So, for those of you that are new to viewing, I am a case cracker, a cold cracker. I can crack these cases. In part one, uh, I was explaining cases to you all. When we go through tests or trials or things that hurt or upset us, that's a case. And usually... Uh, when that kicks off, spiritual court is in play. All right? And then uh, it will also take place on this side as well. So court will take place, you know, in the 3D. And then there is also spiritual court taking place in like, you know, in the spirit realm. The reason why I'm on here today is because I'm trying to figure out with this Club Onyx robbery, I want to know the initi the initiator, like, like who, I, I just want to know, was it a male or a female that initiated the plan? I'm in deep thought, okay, you all, so excuse me. And I just learned about this case yesterday morning. Now, if you are new to viewing this part two, you might want to stop now and go back to part one and then make your way here. But I will say this. When I did part one and uploaded it and I watched it, later on after I watched it, this was yesterday late night yesterday you know last night I researched the story you all woo, I was on fire in part one when I was in part one I was letting you all know that I didn't know all the deets and I cold cracked that there was two who did that up on that roof. The spirit was telling me in the cards. And then I read a couple of articles last night. And in each of the articles, it said it was two. Yep. In each of the articles, I read that there were two. They got up on that roof. They used some power tools and made their way in that club. Boy, and then when I said, in part one, when I said they did it at night, Spirit, when that passive income card came out, and I, and I remember under the word passive, I had some sleepy Z's drawn, and under income, I had a big dollar sign drawn. That, that was when I broke down how they did that at night. So I did find out they got up in that club at like 4 15 4 16 a.m but the night sky you know is still out at that time so i was right uh-huh you know everybody sleep at 4 a.m the only people up uh, are those types the sneaky snake swiper types so i was hitting it all right, Spirit, let's go. So in this content, this is what I want to do. And I know y'all see me shuffling these cards real good because I got to do it, you know, this way. 
to get this clarity that I need. This content is about, like I stated a few minutes ago, I'm trying to figure out whether a male or female kicked this off. So you all, the way that I figure this out is I do the best out of three. So spirit gonna show me. And then after I figure that out, spirit, I want the zodiac signs of the two who had the phone conversation about the plan. And, and I might see if I could get the zodiac signs of the two that was on the roof. See, you all, I, I, I wonder if four was involved. You, you all understand? Like, I wonder if two were talking, you know. So, y'all get what I'm saying? You got to have the brains and the brawn. Y'all understand? The two that were talking thought they were smart enough to come up with the plan. Then they... Uh, connected themselves to the bra, you know the the people who could do the elbow grease, the footwork. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Excuse me. <laughs> A little piece of pollen was flying in, and I already got allergies. I grabbed that thing and <laughs> moved it on out. But yeah, so I, that's why I wonder if it was for. Y'all understand? Mm -hmm. The two that was talking and planning and the two that did the elbow grease and footwork on that roof. Spirit, let's go for the best out of the three. Holy Spirit, please give me the wisdom and clarity that I need to provide accurate answers for your people. I say in the name of Jesus, so shall it be. I also would like to call upon the archangels. So I just did the quick prayer. So now I'm about to invoke the archangels. Let me grab some water right quick. Archangel Michael, please cut all cords and negativity away from this reading. Place a hedge of protection around me so that no one can do a remote viewing or, man or manipulate the energies of this reading. Holy Spirit, Archangel Gabriel, and Jesus, y'all help me. Hold on, y'all, because I'm concerned. Because see, you all, people that do this type of thing, they, th those are dark magicians. And what they can do, you all, they know how to cloak themselves. So I'm I'm in the spirit realm right now, like in my mind and in my spirit. I'm I'm almost trying to uh, almost trying to hit 5D in the dark place, like in, within me. But y'all can't see it. Yeah, I know how to do it too. So I'm calling on everybody. I just called on Jesus. Can you all block them from? trying to cloak themselves within this reading. I want all of the truth to come out. I know one thing, them fuzz bars better stop coming up in here. I'm by a tree. I'm <laughs> sorry, y'all. See, that stuff, that's distracting. I'm gonna have to put my window up. I'm gonna let it out. The pollen, y'all know them little pollen fuzz balls. It's a pollen uh, bush or tree nearby and all right, yeah, so what I was saying, and excuse me, because that's a distraction, I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Yeah, um, God and Archangel Gabriel and Jesus and Archangel Michael, don't let them be able to, like, cloak themselves. I want all the all of the truth. Spirit, how many more times do I need to shuffle? Because I shuffle this up real good. Okay. I can hear the Lord. Okay, I heard the Lord say, you already left on top of right. The Lord knew I was about to ask. Which pile? Okay. Spirit, let me get the best out of the three. Was it a male or a female that initiated this? 
You are you ready, Spirit and uh, Archangel Gabriel? I heard Spirit of the Lord say, "Let's see what comes out." It's a female. I got a female card, which is High Priestess. The Six of Swords card is a female, and then the third one was like two hands. Let me see what's. See, you all do realize, y'all, some of these females out here that's witches, they so cold-blooded, I mean, excellent with that work, that dark work, where they know how to puppet other people to get them to do what they want and can hide themselves. I heard the word like mastermind, like almost like a demonic mastermind. I wonder what's under here. Yeah, it's a female. <laughs> it's a, a female initiated this because uh -huh, I'm at the bottom of Can y'all see me? Let me uh -huh. When I turn to the bottom, it's two females. Y'all see that? With that Eight of Pentacles and the Empress. Y'all remember when I was breaking out the brains in the brine? I wonder if the two that was discussing this plan, like initially, the originators, I wonder if it was two females that were talking and then they uh, shared the, the heist plan with the men. But who knows? I don't, I'm not even sure but who, you know, I'm just guessing. I'm not even sure who got up on that roof. It could have been a male and a female or two females or two males. I don't know. But all I do know, I could ask that next but all I do know it was two females that kicked off the conversation because it's too much female energy I'm looking at I'm looking at one two three four five cards four out of five got females on it and when I like I, I got it in the best out of the three when I got these three and out of all three cards the majority which is two out of three female. I wonder is is one of them a water sign? I don't know. Okay, let me see. Could possibly be because the high priestess that's a water sign, Cancer. But see, in this case, this is the high priestess in the reverse, and you are this this right here. When the high priestess in the reverse come out, uh oh. She's all the way gone. Cuckoo, demonic. I said cold bloody with that dark work. That that's who this this do those spells from hell. Know how to do that work. Mastermind with that dark alchemy. How? Well, okay. I figured. I figured that out. I feel better. Now, it might not ever get exposed. I don't know. Child, I got to pray for the authorities. Just, I feel like this that same energy from the Young Dolph series. When I blasted them females for kicking off that mess. You see, you know, they collaborate. It be... Females and males, but I be want to know who the who the first one that was having those dark thoughts. Y'all understand? So that was the best out of the three. Spirit, let me get the zodiac signs of 
I'm gonna shuffle some more of the two that was on that roof. This is Slicksters. Okay, y'all, when I do the Slicksters reading, Holy Spirit gonna help me get it. That's when I pull four cards. And I ask Spirit to give me a top four, you know, haters. Let me get their zodiac signs. So I'm trying to see, do I want to ask Spirit for two or four? I heard Holy Spirit say, let's go with four. You are awesome, my child. Well, then, Spirit, what I'm saying is right. About, okay, y'all, when I said that there's two that were planning and talking and the other two got on the roof with those power tools. Y'all gotta excuse me because the other me, the other me said they need they ass beat. That, yeah, <laughs> you know. So I be thinking some people really want that two piece special. Like I, they gonna, it's coming too. And when they get popped, they ain't gonna know like. When okay, like they are not gonna see it coming. Come on, spirit, let's do slicksters. Oh yeah, y'all. After this, I wanna see if I can do a couple of pulls. Spirit, let's channel that club owners. Yeah, the club owners energy and uh huh. That's my break it down ascension that it's in that bag. Holy Spirit, let me get the top four Zodiac signs who was hating on that club owner that was a part of this heist. Y'all can feel the power of the Lord on my body. It's going through, like a power surge is going through my body. Spirit, I'm going to break this down in four. You already know how I do. I'm just telling people that was watching because I heard my higher self say, kids, don't try this at home. Yeah, don't. I'm highly anointed and gifted to do this type of... You can't... Y'all... Spirit, I've said this in some past content. I probably said it a year or two ago. You can't just be playing with these cards. You have to be all the way to have things. I'm shuffling, okay, this is another way that I shuffle. I'm not trying to get it shuffled good. Spirit. Okay, this is one, from left to right. Power one, two, three, four. Which power uh, should I have on top of everything? I heard Spirit say one is fine. Which one should go next? All right, Spirit say two is fine, then four. All right, and you want power three at the bottom. All right, okay, Holy Spirit, do I need to shuffle some more, or can I just go ahead with the slicksters reading? I want the top four zodiac signs of those who were a part of this Club Onyx burglary. All right, Holy Spirit say you can start also, my child. All right. I heard, I heard Holy Spirit say, let's see. I'm telling you. Here we go. Top four Zodiac signs who was a part of the heist. Boy, they got the devil in them. So the devil came out. The five of pentacles. The king of cups. So far, I'm seeing air, I, I believe, earth. Uh-huh.
Ooh. I got my barberry deck too, y'all. So the double card came out first. Didn't y'all hear me say how the uh the female that know how to do that work? She know how to control. That's that the spell work in that al that dark alchemy. You see the devil with the puppet strings on that guy. I said that earlier. I got the barbary deck. And I'm trying to, mm. but I believe what I'm seeing is like air and earth. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. The devil, that's earth. I said that. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Five of Pentacles, Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I said that. This is, uh, I made a mistake and said air. This is water. King of Cups, Pisces. And Death and Rebirth. Yeah, the Death and Rebirth card represents water. I believe Scorpio. Ooh, y'all. So... Earth and water, excuse me. Not earth and air, earth and water. But it's crazy, y'all, because when I pull, I said that though. When I, when, look, y'all, when I pull the high priestess, I, when I asked for who originated, I said water. Uh huh. At the beginning, when I was in the light seer. Yeah, this this is uh, that card. The high priestess is, is the illustration on the as the cover art of the box. Yeah, when I told you she didn't reverse, she crazy. I said water sign cancer, but you know water energy is here. It don't say, it's not it's not cancer, but it's still water energy. All I know is some type of water sign. They are a cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, because cancer came out in the high priestess. In the reverse from the light seers at the beginning of this content. Then I got for the third card, King of Cups, Water Sign, Pisces, fourth card, Death and Rebirth, Scorpio, all of those are water. A man, yo, it's some men in here. Uh-huh. It's uh-huh. Cause I'm looking at a man. As the devil, a female, five of pentacles, a man, king of cups. I said all that. I said it's males and females. All right, y'all. Now I'm in the barbary deck. Y'all, this is good. See, I love figuring this stuff out. Let's see what come out of the barbary deck. It's, these are the straight up zodiac signs. And it's crazy. Right, right. Uh huh. When I pulled the, the thing out the box, earth is sitting on top. Child, I'm just shuffling for now. I'm gonna see what flip, fly, or jump out. Okay, I'm ready. Come on, spirit. Uh, or if you want to reveal some another sign, come on, let's do it then, spirit. I'm gonna stop when my intuition tells me to. Child. All right, come on. Let's go, spirit. I got stuck at water. <laughs> I'm pulling that. Because, see, I can hear it, too, and I can tell. It's either going to flip fly or jump out or, like, it'll get, like, stuck under my thumb or in my hand. I don't know. Fire. Hmm. Somebody may have fire in their chart. I'm looking at water and fire. Uh, Y'all know we got sun, moon, and rising. 
So it could be anything. Somebody could be like a sun, Capricorn, moon, fire. I'm going to keep going. Just hang on, everybody. I usually go through this a couple of times. Uh-huh. Thank you, spirit. That was two. Told y'all. Scorpio. Uh, to the club owner. Yeah, Scorpio for sure. Woo. Uh -huh. That confirmed the death and rebirth. Scorpio. Cancer. I said that. Woo. Y'all, yeah, that, that high priestess in the reverse. To the club owner of Onyx. It's a female cancer. She's the high priestess in the reverse. That I'm gonna go all what all the way gone bonkers, like demonically gone. I told y'all she know how to do that work. Uh, hold on. Alright, I I went back into the Light Seer's deck to find her, but High Priestess in the River, y'all, that's Cancer. I said that. So, it, see, it came out in two different decks. But when, when we see it coming out in two different decks, the same sign, yep. That one for sure. And then, I'm gonna put this Cancer on top of her. I'm going to leave her over his spear in the reverse. And then put Scorpio on top of that death and rebirth. And then I also pull back out that six of swords. But I don't need it. Let me see if any, any other zodiac sign come out. All I know is a Cancer and a Scorpio. Your ass finna be done the dun dunna. That Mars was almost trying to pop out next to that Pisces. Come on, Spirit. Because I got that Pisces. That's who the King of Cups is. That, that male. Y'all, that, see, that's why we, boy, we know how to get, bust these people out. Anything else? Woo, what is this? Hold on, spirit. Child. Spirit, any other zodiac sign in relation to this? Club Onyx Heights. Is there any other zodiac sign that you would like to be, uh, you know, that you would like to be exposed during this reading? We got a water and a fire car. Boy, that water, yo, 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 behind from the giddy. And like I said in part one. If the authorities don't get you, that club owner gonna get you. It says moon. They do that work against the moon. Uh -huh, I told y'all that. That's and uh the sign that rules the moon. I believe that's water. Uh huh. Intuitive. I, th I think water cancer. Anything else? Y'all, this is good. I'm trying to see. I'm using my intuition. An Aquarius and Virgo fell on the floor, but I don't know. That Aries act like it want to come out. And that Leo, let me see y'all. Come on, spirit. If, 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 come on. This is my last round, spirit, and I'm closing this part of the reading air I did say air at the beginning because I, I had thought that the king of cups was air but I was wrong that's water I made a mistake it's water but I did mention air 
So maybe that's why I had made a mistake, y'all, and said air from the gate. And air came out, and right before, y'all heard me, right before y'all saw this air flip out, y'all just heard me say, so a few minutes ago, Aquar Aquarius and Virgo fell on the floor. Aquarius, that's air. Oh, yeah, Vir Virgo, that's Earth. So, yeah, I'm... Let me go ahead and keep them. All right, well then, Spirit, I'm keeping them. See, y'all, I put it back in because I, I was thinking. There you go. The, huh? Aquarius, Air, Virgo. That's Virgo at the, uh, that's, uh-huh. I could put that, like, on top of the Five of Pentacles. So we already know, like all the readers, we already know the devil card. That's Capricorn. There go Virgo. I don't know, y'all in trouble. Cap Capricorn, you in trouble? Virgo, you in trouble? Pisces, you in trouble? Scorpio, in trouble? And Cancer. We could also throw in the air sign Aquarius. Uh huh. Like that air sign Aquarius, you all. That might be like somebody's moon or rising, or they may have it somewhere in this chart. But all I know is when I did the Slicksters reading. The Slickster's reading is about this devil card, Capricorn. So that's, you know, that's just Earth. The, and the Five of Pentacles, both of, all, both of those represents Earth. The Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Both, both of these. I said that at the beginning. That's that Earth energy. And then the King of Cups, that's that water sign, uh -huh, Pisces energy. And then that Death and Rebirth, the Scorpio. I, I showed y'all that Scorpio, it came out in the uh, Barberry deck too. And then when I got to thinking about the Light Seers, when I said the High Priestess, water sign, Caster. It's in the reverse, and then this came out my berry too. We y'all in trouble, okay? Spirit, that was good. All right, now let's see what the club owner has to say to them because he's gonna get y'all back. Okay, who you are with this men or women or whatever, whoever did this tall foolery is gonna get you back. So now I'm gonna go into the break it down and sit today. I swear, hold on. Now, y'all, when I had my window down, wasn't nobody riding past that much. As soon as I put my window down, everybody want to ride past. So, sorry, you all, if those car sounds were distracting. Child. Then it got to be like the, the cars with the most raggedy sound. Like, devil, stop playing with me, please. Woo! So this the Club Onyx case. I'm cracking it. Right, Spirit. These was the two that uh -huh, I was trying to get the, the Zodiac sign. Right, these was from the best out of the three. When I, uh, excuse me, the best out of the three. I, when I was trying to figure out, was it, was it a male or a female that kicked this whole high stop? Yeah, I, I kept saying. Now, like I said, y'all, will she get caught? I don't know. Let's take a slight intermission. Make sure you all check out my new poetry book, "When the Smoke Clear, Speak from Within" by Nikita Simmons. It is available on all book retailer platforms. You can find it on ArthurHouse.com, 
Amazon, eBay, Barnes & Noble, and BAM, and many other sites. And here's ArthurHouse.com. All right. I'll make sure I have that in the description. Or I will make it pop out in this video. Spirit, what does that club owner have to say? Because I got to close this. This content. I'm looking at the card. I'm looking at the card already. I ain't even shuffled the deck yet. I'm looking at the card already. Yeah, he sure is. Then when people like me get a hold of the case, uh oh. I mean, you finna, you going, you about to go down. Spirit, come on. I'm finna shuffle these up. This is my Break It Down Ascension deck. This is the deck I was telling y'all about in part one that I wished I had yesterday. I got it today. And like I said in part one, I did not plan on doing this reading about this case. It just kind of went that way yesterday. Y'all, I looked in my bag. It said DM card. Uh huh. That club, that club owner said he got a direct message for for those who kicked off that heist. He got a direct message for you. Come on, spirit. Give me. So basically, y'all, what I'm doing, I know how to channel. I'm about to channel the club owners energy and okay what well, he what well, he gotta say or any other messages that he got for his, his haters let's go home here what does that club owner have to say that's one it said you are bald headed because of so much spell work I told y'all whichever whoever this female is she must be trying to like Maybe she be trying to grow her hair, but she can't grow it because she do so much spell work. This almost wanted to come out. Pick my punani energy. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm going to keep that on the side, spirit. Here, you know what? I'm going to put it back in. Let's see if it come out. If it's meant to come out, it'll come out. Let's keep going, spirit. Ciao. Nope, it didn't come out. Uh-huh, that's what I thought. So I just wanted to make sure that's not it. It's a female. There's probably some men that be going, that, that's involved in this case, that's bald head too. So uh, some man, either way, a, a female or a male, just whoever doing that spell work, you bald head or don't have much hair. It could be a male or a female, one or the other or both. Give me some more. What do you got to say? They mad because he is uh, Mr. Make It Happen Right Away. I'm not sure if the club owner is a male or a female, one or the other, or both. But yeah, Mr. or Mrs. Make It Happen Right Away. And he going to make your downfall happen right away by the way of this meditation that he finna hit the ass with, with that lick back. It says, Dance by the Light of the Moon. So right now, y'all, the, the club owner, he trying to, like, encourage himself so he don't snap. He trying not to flip all the way out, y'all. All right, it says double back energy sends negative intentions. It's somebody that got a double back that's be hating on that club owner. Child. Muffin top. <laughs> That's your fault. Woo yeah, but he said he gonna alchemize the out of that energy that y'all tried to hit him with. He he said reverse back in the name of Jesus. I'm gonna pray he get that money back. They play y'all. They too grown. They play too much. You you too old to be playing these type of games. All right, let me go through this other half. That club owner, he know how to alchemize. Okay. 
He he gonna be if he ain't already did it by now, he get ready to be near some water. He gonna be praying. Y'all understand? So he might go like to a nearby lake or the beach. Or like in the shower praying or the bathtub. Or excuse me, the bathtub. Yeah, he gonna get them back. Via his prayers and meditations. I said that at the beginning of this thing, I believe. Let's keep going. What does the club owner have to say? He said, no busted broke brother formed against me shall prosper. I told y'all, this is the stuff he's saying like when he be praying. Yeah, they, they some broke asses. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, uh, I, one of my friends told me when we was younger, her daddy called them the no nothing asses. Yeah. Uh. Just can't manifest nothing. And they think that what's yours is theirs. No, no, it is not. It says, his hairline is receding because he vibrates low. Yeah, I told y'all a man too. Uh-huh. I'm counting the cards. Three, four, five, six, seven. Let's keep going. My thumb got stuck here, so I'm taking it. It says, the veil has been torn between the 3D and 5D. Yeah, the club owner said he see y'all. He figuring it out. They in trouble. So goofy self. So that's eight. Anything else? What does that club owner has to say? Or Holy Spirit, what are the messages that you have? It says, baby, mommy is trifee, not your wifey. Hmm. Uh-oh. Let's keep going. Child. Mm, mm, mm. So he broke the prison spell. So 10. Ooh, some other energies coming up in this. That's it. So I believe that was, that's 10 or 11 that came out in this reading. 2, 3, 4. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh-huh. Ten. Ten represents cycle complete. So, yeah. Y'all, they're going to crack this case. And those people that were involved in setting all of this up, whether they were uh, the originators and orchestrators of planning it, or the ones that jumped on top of the roof because they was feeling froggy. Yeah, okay. So, Y'all about to be in trouble. All right, that was good. Hold on. I'm trying to I'm keep it separate. Because sometimes I keep it separate in my bag. And I might go back and, like, review it, like, when I'm at home by myself. Yeah, y'all, that was good. All right. So, there's the reading. I figured it out. So, I hope this club on to catch my content. To uh, those of you all that need to figure out a situation... Uh, whether you're trying to figure out is it a male or female zodiac signs, and you can't figure that out, that's what my type. That's where we come in and just contact me, okay? So this was good. Um, the part two to the club Onyx reading. Until next time. Uh, oh, before I close out, to book your very own reading, you could just send an email. I will leave my email in the description box and it will also be in the outro of this video until next time thanks for watching you all have